worst part of 2016 for me, which is, you know, front row center seat and like just the misogyny event of the century. You know, from everything from hatred to subtle double standards to subconscious stuff that wasn't maybe affirmatively hateful, but double standards apply to women. Yeah, we focus like on what they wear, men don't. We don't do that. Or there's something untrustworthy. Ambition, or was, are they likable? All the things that we don't really talk about with men, whether they're running for president or vice president. The absence of a woman president, uh, the absence of a woman vice president, is not just an accident. We're uniquely bad, I think, as a country, in electing women to higher office. And all the stats show it, and all the history shows it. And so I was aware of that intellectually, but seeing it, living it, experiencing it, shaking my fists about it, you know, that that was the hardest and part of 2016. Biden is going to be the top of the ticket, mm -hmm. so he'll be defending her. The running mate, do you have advice for him about That's how to... That's an interesting way to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's not like Hillary had to defend me or promote me all along the way. No. The VP is supposed to be defending and promoting the boss. So I, I'm hoping that a lot of people like us, you know, senators and governors yeah. and people who know the VP nominee, we're going to be out there really having her back as the VP nominee is having the back of Joe.